Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching Twin Cities Live at 4. We really appreciate it. Yeah, we do. All right, so we're just 64 days until the 95th Academy Awards. It's going to air right here on 5 Eyewitness News. Jimmy Kimmel is returning to host the show. It's on March 12th, 64 days from March 12th. That makes winter seem okay. Yeah. Our movie critic, Paul McGuire Grimes, is joining us with some movies bound to be nominated. Paul can't believe that it's coming up so quickly. It seems Academy. right around the it's corner. It's like right your around Super the corner. Bowl. Right, right up, your right? Super Bowl. Can we just snap and go right to March? That'd be great. <laughs> I know, wouldn't it? That would be great. So you've got a little uh, top five list. Yeah, is that my right? top five movies of 2022. Yeah. Let's start with number five. Okay. And this is Till. I haven't seen this Starring yet. Danielle Deadweiler as Mamie Till Mobley, the mother of Emmett Till. And this movie is really told through her perspective and what happened after she found out that her son was murdered and lynched. And it kind of bucks the trends of not being a courtroom drama. And it's really told through her perspective. And it's powerful. It's gut-wrenching. You feel why it's still relevant today and why we need to see movies like this to remember that history repeats itself. Yeah. yeah and I've, I'm going to guess that every parent out there can relate you know, to something like this. I mean, obviously not not in this particular right. manner, but just the thought of that, yes. you know? Well, I think that parental perspective is important yeah. because it allows people to connect to something yes. that they might not otherwise. That, that, right, and Danielle Deadweiler, she should be up for Best Actress. What she does as Mimi is incredible, like gut punching. Um, you can buy it now on demand or it can rent at January 17th. So keep an eye out for this one. It's oh, I like fantastic. That. That's good yeah. to know. Yeah. Okay, number four. It's really great. It's called Women Talking. Inspired by a true story based on a group of Mennonite women who are fed up with being um, abused and raped mm -hmm. in their colony, and they have to decide whether they, they come together as a group, decide whether they will just continue to put up with it, whether they will stay and fight or leave and risk uh, the kingdom of heaven. So in their faith, if they don't forgive their men, they will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoa. Wow. So, this, so it's a f it reminded me of 12 Angry Men. So you have all these women in this colony, different generations, different ages, different life experiences, different viewpoints on what they should do and whether they're facing this, this faith that they've had or what's literally happening to them right in front of their very face. Okay, so the coloring of how it's shot I mean, is interesting. It's, it, it can be dark at times. It's, it's very bleak, but it's such good dialogue, a good conversation to be had. Rudy Mara, Claire Foy, Frances McDormand, Ben Wishaw, Jesse Buckley, really great performances. And then great it just gets cast. you thinking of like, what would you do in this situation? And how, again, this it looks like it's a period piece, but this is 2010 that it's Man. set in. Yeah, that's the yeah. thing, that the way it's shot, it seems like it's back in like the it's 50s not. or 60s I even or thought something. it was. And then they have a timestamp later in the movie, and I'm like, oh, 2010, that's, wow. that's something. Yeah. So where can we see this? So this will actually be in theaters next week. I saw it early for award season voting. I voted for the Critics' Choice Awards, so I, I saw it in 2022. Because he's legit. Yeah. Okay, number three is Top Gun Maverick. I, mean, I loved this yes, movie. Yes, I'm so glad you all saw it. Like, I, I thought, okay, I'm going to enjoy this movie. I love Tom Cruise's movies. And by the end of it, I was so, like, emotionally invested and so overwhelmed with, like, how technically stunning it was. It felt like you were right in the cockpit. And I was, like, in tears when Lady Gaga was singing Hold My Hand at the end. I was like, this movie just, like, took me by surprise and loved every minute of it. Phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that's, of all ages, my kids were, like, right. engrossed in yes. this movie, you know? Everyone can love this movie, and it's why you go to the movie theater. Yes. You can't get that experience at home. Even if you have a great system at home, that's why you go to the theater to just see all the jets flying around. My only regret about this movie is that I watched it on the plane coming back from London. Oh, okay. and I was yeah. like, this <laughs> the worst place this to watch this movie. It's too small for this. Why did right. I do this? I well, know. it's on Paramount Plus now, so yeah. if you want to rewatch it, Paramount Plus. I do have Plus. a bigger TV at home <laughs> than yeah. the one on the plane. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number okay. two. I talked about it a few weeks ago. This is The Fablemans from Steven Spielberg. Yep. Again, him looking back at his life, putting his family life on the big screen, semi autobiographical look at how he turn to the movies, both making them and going to them to put up with, to kind of figure out what was going on with his parents' divorce, the anti-Semitism that he faced. And that's Michelle Williams playing his mom, who is just divine. Paul Dano plays his dad. And that's a very pivotal scene there. It's just so wonderful. There's so much heart and soul that Spielberg puts into this. And if you're thinking, I've seen everything from Spielberg. What more can he do? And you're like, I didn't expect this from him. Do you think she'll right. get a nomination? I think so. Michelle Williams? Yes. Okay. I yeah, think we'll yes. see Danielle Deadweiler get one, Michelle Williams, and then the actress in the next movie that we'll talk about, too. Oh, well, okay. Okay, so where can we find this one so before we move on to So it's in theaters one? now. Uh, you can rent it on demand. I think it will be on Peacock soon. It's a universal title, so it should okay. be on Peacock within a couple of weeks. All right. How about number one? Everything, everywhere, all at once. Starring Michelle Yeoh as a wife, a mother, a caretaker of her father, who is behind on her taxes. She owns a laundromat. She goes to see an IRS agent and finds herself in this multiverse where she figures, she sees what all 
what her life choices would have been like had she made different choices. Had she done this, this is what her life would have been like. Had she done that, this is what her life would have been like. It is stunning, it's wild, it's wholly original, unpredictable, and by the end you're like, that's what this was all about. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And it is so yeah. Elizabeth, beautiful. have you seen this yet? No, have you? Yes. Oh, I yes. highly recommend yes. it. Really? Paul, yes. it is bad. When, yes. when you say it's oh. original, yeah. you're watching this movie like, I have really never seen anything like yes. this movie ever. Oh my gosh, I'm so Ever. intrigued. You have to see. Michelle Yeoh is yeah. stunning. She, I hope she actually gets the Oscar for this. She puts everything in this. And Jamie Lee Curtis, like you've never seen her yes. before. Oh, yeah. I love her. And there's, oh, there is one particular fight scene in the yes. office that yes. you're like, what am is I happening? watching? Where can right. I watch this? So um, it's you can rent it on demand. Um, I would I think it should be available to like stream soon, but you can rent it on demand for a, a little better price. But it's so worth it. It's, it's one just, of the most fun movies I've yeah, watched the whole year. You won't, year. yeah, you yeah. won't see a movie like this, and that is what's so this great. This is the about first it. time hearing of this. This is this is a Everything great segment that you do. Thank you. <laughs> I loved it, and that I love that you picked that as your number one. Thank so you. I really appreciate. It. So Paul's entire top ten movie list of 2022 uh, is up on his YouTube channel as well. It's called. Paul's movie trip to the movies. Paul's trip to the movies. You'll Paul's get it. Movies. You got it. Go. TCL's movie trip is <laughs> brought to you by Muska Lighting. It's Friday, Ben Lieber. Yeah. Uh, shop their showrooms at Eden Prairie and Roseville or at muskalighting.com. All right, we're counting down the funniest animal photos taken of the year. Find out what took the top spot right after this. Is Wilma going to make it? I hope. No. No, probably not. <laughs> not goofy enough. Thanks to Muska Lighting for sponsoring TCL's movie trip. Replace old and dated fixtures with a new light and change the look and feel of your home. Our mudroom fixture from Muska Lighting is a total showstopper. We get compliments from everyone who walks through the door. Talk to the experts at Muska Lighting in Roseville and Eden Prairie for help finding the perfect light for you.